Thanks for coming to the uh, Better Things uh, panel with Director uh, Maria Cabardo and our panel. Uh, our panel here uh, have all been in the documentary, and uh, the plan today is to show you uh, a couple a couple things, about 10, 12 minutes of film, and then uh, maybe do a free-form conversation about uh, the life of Jeffrey and, and our documentary. Uh, sadly, as you know, Jeffrey uh, passed away recently, did not, uh, is not around to see a final cut, uh, but Maria did share many cuts along the way, so we feel pretty good about that. Uh, I'm John Butler, I'm one of the producers of the film, there are many of us, all of us have donated something. Uh, what I brought to the party was Cleaver Editorial, which is an editorial facility up in the Bay Area uh, that I'm a co-owner of, and uh, we, are, we are working towards a final cut playing After Effects, animations, and all that kind of stuff that makes a documentary really look professional. Uh, right now, we are currently uh, in the process of adding all that B-roll footage, paintings, number of paintings, a lot of old footage of Jeff, Jeff's family, and things like that. And uh, we are working now towards a September 1 finish. So we are planning on having this film ready and, and done by September 1. So before I turn it over to Maria to introduce the first couple of clips, let me just briefly introduce our, our panel. Uh, we have uh, Bill Sienkiewicz, Mark Bodie, uh, Rick Berry, Robert Wiener, George Pratt, Henry Mayo, and Louise Simonson with us today. Hi. Uh, <laughs> it's been three years, and uh, this is um, what's happened. <laughs> we have uh, the introduction to the movie, um, just the credits, the title of the credits, the title of the page. And then we'll be showing the studio. Um, there's the, the movie is structured so that uh, Jeff has a very, very um, colorful and very interesting life. And there's a lot of stories. And so we decided that we will uh, choose the best stories and, and, and showcase all that um, um, individually. And um, it's about the film is about Jeff, Catherine, Jeffrey Catherine Jones is. Um, some of his, um, hi some of the highlights in his life, highlights, lowlights, um, and it's a film about art, and it's also a film about people. It's for people who love art. So, so Maria, why don't why don't you talk to everybody a little bit about you know the film that, that you wanted to make? I mean, you you spent quite a bit of time with Jeffrey in, in the last couple years of his life, and I thought maybe it'd be good just to talk a little bit about you know what that experience was like. And, you know, what you were trying to say with this film. Um, well, I never met Jeff Jones before um, before the whole project started, so it was a complete surprise. I didn't know what to expect, and I wasn't sure if he wanted to, to say, uh, you know, anything, or if he wanted to even participate in the project. But he, has been, he was very, very supportive, and he was very excited about the whole thing, and for him, it was like, a trip down memory lane, and uh, he he was very um, excited that there were a lot of artists who were um, also going to be in the movie. Uh, and um, overall, um, the project was pretty much really a, a, a work of love <laughs> for everyone involved here. You know, I had to bug everyone. I, they didn't know who I was, and I'm like, oh, can I come over to your house and take up six hours of your day? And um, it's, it's been a, a great, great um, adventure. And I wanted to document and share an artist whose work I admired. And I thought that um, having worked at DC Comics for a while, I, I was shocked to learn that not a lot of people knew who a lot of these guys were anymore and what they've done to the industry or you know the type of work and, and, and passion they've put into their their um, their their work, and I thought if I can put that down in the film and have people be able to um, to see that, then then maybe maybe I would have said something good. <laughs> I'm hoping to go through a distribution channel um, after I edit the movie. Uh, I really have no clue how that's going to be, but I I research a lot. I'm very good at it. So, um, and after three years, nothing. <laughs> yes, I use reference. No, but I'm hoping that it can be shown to uh, at movie theaters. Um, I love to see the art big, 
I, I'm not making a movie for a TV show, or I'm not making a movie for a DVD, so maybe I'm being naive about it or ignorant about the whole process, but I will do whatever it takes so that it shows in a movie theater somewhere. So, so she's so. saying she compulsively made it because she's an artist. <laughs> we are going to... No, 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 I'm an art director. Okay. <laughs> I think we should take it to Ken. This is, oh. It looks so great. So, and we are going to we're we're going to finish this by September in time for festival season, and it'll be entered everywhere. And the, the hopes is that it gets picked, it gets picked up, and someone buys it, and then that begets distribution and, and all that stuff. So you know, it's a it's a process, but uh, you know, if we have to dub them ourselves, we'll get them out to people. <laughs> right. We'll rent the theater. Yeah. I got a lot of uh, support from a lot of artists from out of the country, from New Zealand. Spain, from Argentina, you know, it's like just emailing me and also I have a, a film festival who's been really, really patient in England. The Leeds International Film Festival has been very supportive as well. As a matter of fact, the program director donated money <laughs> to my cause. He sent me 25 pounds <laughs> to get the movie done. So, so that's, they're waiting for that.